gallons or whatever <laughs> down the hallway and see where it drains out. Oh, sure, I can do that. Okay. Um, where are you going to summon your 26 gallons of water? Just ping it on the map here. Does the path slope towards us or inside? The path appears to be even. Okay. Then, yeah, just like in the middle should be fine. Can I see that little alcove? Uh, what alcove? I mean, in cove, whatever. There. Oh, the, um, yeah, the empty space. Yes, there appears to be a lever there. Ooh. I tell the party I see, see a lever. I'm should not sure we should touch that. But it was magically... Pull it. Pull it? I heard pull, pull it. it. I heard pull it, pull yeah, it. Oh, God. Pull it. Stop pussyfooting around. <laughs> Fortune favors right. the bold. <sighs> no, it doesn't. Not here. Sure it does. It's true, it doesn't. Pull the lever. This is for I Terry. Right. You forget that losing here may as well be victory. Exactly. <laughs> go bigger. Go, go home. Okay. Um, you do. It's that big thing on the map again. Let's see. Who do we have? Um, who is actually pulling the lever? I see Hedra, Crazy Bob, and Savin over there. I thought nice. that, you know, yeah, yeah be, the lever. Who's hidden under my big horse butt? Yeah, can okay. you put that thing like so, there? This is why I did not want you to have a damn giant horse. Uh, you do have to be in that square to pull it because it's it's right here. Oh God, what's going on over here? God damn horse Move butt! Move that giant can horse you, butt. Uh, you you like... pull the lever. Everybody in that square, nightmare included, make a dex check. Dex. <laughs> it was a trap. Dex. Of course, it was a trap. Like I thought. Wait, everyone. So Hedra, oh Savin, Crazy Bob, um. And Canathus. What about is me? It a, I'm is not it in a the trap? Same not Sermi and not Mia. Is it oh, okay. a dexterity or check Canathus. or a reflex save and throw? Uh, this is a reflex save. Okay. So. Okay, yes. so it's a trap, correct? Yes, it is a trap. Almost everything in here is a trap. Okay, <laughs> good. Then I can add bonus to my reflex save. Uh, that's four. Um, yeah. Perhaps that's four. Is it a magical, by the way? Nope. Mechanical. Otherwise, okay, the detect so magic would have seen it. Do I got a roll? Because you were kind of confused. So, not Kanathis and not Sermi. Everybody else, including. A Magnus. reflex save? Reflex save, yes. I just realized pit traps are added to this razor wire. We've had like one. Well, two now. Two. Two. Yeah, we cast um, water. Hedra leaps back. Crazy Bob leaps to the side. I'm going to die. Uh, Savin, what about your character? He you rolled to uh, the night. 16 for me, 22 for the Nightmare. Okay. Uh, all three of you, however, plummet into the pit. It is considerably larger than the other one. This one goes down 50 feet, and there are spikes at the bottom. Uh, you are hit by four, seven. Five spikes. Ow. Four, uh, spy. You're hit by four spikes. And the Nightmare, because it is a large creature, is hit by... Seven spikes. Can I land on top of no, eight, the nightmare? Uh, actually, that's a good point. Um, make a dex check in the air to maneuver yourself on top of the nightmare. Uh, you can make that also seven if you'd like to okay. throw your companion to the wind. Well, oh, pulling the Yoshi. All right, you both climb, push the nightmare down, <laughs> climb up onto her back, and she is impaled instead by. <laughs> Wait. Wow. 
Uh, or 16 evil. spikes. Pretty sure oh, she's god. Dead. Is there any chance I could have cast a mention door on the way down? 121 damage. Nope. Damn. <laughs> she's alive. Oh my god. Uh, we'll save Nine versus, hit points. Make a fortitude save to die oh, from Jesus. massive damage. That's actually a thing she's good at. Wait, does, does that count since it's technically a bunch of tiny little attacks and not one altogether? This is all yeah, it's, it's one source. In this case, it's the trap. She I, saves, I had, though. I had to take a feat for that as an archer. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she is... saves. She's okay. A... That is just by a million cuts right there. Horribly bleeding out. Uh, I can I can mend her. If if you could do that, that would be swell. Okay, uh, first. If you're at the bottom of a 50 foot pit, are you gonna dimension door out? Yeah, I kind of uh, wish I had my wings. Dimension door right. out. Back up onto the path. How? Uh, yeah. Last I checked, there was no teleportation. Oh, good point. Make a uh, roll of d6. Thank you for reminding me. We Andrew. were lying. Well, hold to... on. Does that? Does Dimension Door... My, I thought that just meant the teleportation spell, but all right, whatever. Boop, two. It works this time. Yay. Okay, let's see this horse. Yeah. She did just... Whoa. What I'm did you do to this horse? horse? You guys have a fuckload of healing potions, for what it's worth. I, I will just scowl at Ina. She told me to do it. I point at Hedra. Just because someone tells you to do something doesn't mean you should do it. I'm gonna so I shouldn't just... do not do what you should tell me not to do. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Since potions are consumables and my spells are renewable, I'll just use my spells. Actually, I could heal the horse for you guys. Yes. With my Lay on Hand spell. All right. Bring on the heels. She Think took 121 that. damage. She'll take everything you guys got. All right, here you go. This should help a bit. Or wait. Uh, I forgot something. Where's the... We fucking pulled a Yoshi on your horse. <laughs> uh, it's like, get on top of the horse, get on top of the horse. <sighs> Alright, here you go. 20. That's barely anything, but... Uh, let me try my cure critical wounds. Mm -hmm. No, wait, I'll cure, cure serious wounds. Copy pasta. Did you, uh, don't you get like a plus for your caster level? Yeah. For the lay on hands. Yeah. Do you? Cure serious wounds. You'd heal three d eight plus. No, no, no. I'm I'm asking the guy who casted lay on hands. Uh. No, that, that's not how lay on hands works. Okay. Yeah, lay on, just, yeah. I thought lay on hands was just uh, a roll per two paladin levels. It is. It, it is. is. Okay. Okay. Anyway. You know, wow. you should just roll oh, wow. if, if anyone... Oh, wait, that didn't... What? What on, what on earth? Right? Man, you guys can't roll for shit. No, it was just plus 15 <laughs> rather than damage plus 15. Why it's, would you it's... not put damage in? Oh, sorry, it was wrong. Can, can I roll that again, or do you just want yeah. to take the 20? Add 15. I, I did. Add... Uh, she's at about half health. Eh, that's all I can do. You know... Why well, thought you rolled that? If you had a cleric... If you had a cleric... You could just throw a heal spell, which is 120 health, like that. Mm -hmm. We have heal patients. Actually, on the side note, I can also personally ch uh, channel that, and I have like 19 more castings of lay hands. Yeah, just lay on hands a couple more times. That should do it. Like twice <sighs> more. All right. Who's yeah, got the pretty... best perception? Uh, mine is. I got plus twenty-one. Um, Not seventeen, nineteen. Who wants? Only about basically, what down. I'm asking I'll, is, I'll who take. wants to levitate off the ground and do perception rolls without touching the no ground? No levitation. No flight, but we. Did you not read flight? the document at all? Oh my goodness. 
It's no just so many. I feel like I'm the only one that did. It's just so <laughs> many minor rules. Yeah. So. It doesn't say anything about no levitating. It's just no, this thing is hard to keep track. Levitation, no, levitation is flight. Is a kind is a kind of limited flight, Kanathis. Well, that's also, I don't see anything about summoning, but I saw an undead. No yet. summoning the undead. I remember. Right. Yeah, that that's. Uh, I that's why my pixie rules, necromancer though, I did can't explain happen. to you that um, the magics affecting this area, as well as the astral and ethereal planes through which summon magics normally transcend, are swarming with planar beings. Any summon spells have a chance to either fail, summon the correct being, or um, potentially summon one of the planar, be planar beings. So Even if it is a celestial, they're not happy with being summoned, and on a best case scenario, will simply leave, uh, wasting the spell. Worst case scenario, they will try to drag you into the astral or ethereal for some tender, loving care. Fun times. Right. So I would that, limit that your summons to the ones that count. I don't believe I was there, but I'll take it. It was at the beginning of the stream tonight. It was explained. Oh, well. well. Uh, Kanathis, are you moving back onto the trap square with the pit? No. Okay. Are you moving into the um, other pit? Okay, there we go. Okay. Hmm. You almost, keep moving uh, your almost, stuff back onto pits. <laughs> almost 200 viewers, son. What? Twitch. Wow. Yeah, 190. Such, yeah. such power. Uh, such I'll impress. have to go ahead and throw in my, uh, uh, throw in my donation. We're over, we're over a grand okay. now. Ooh, nice. Damn. Nice. Yeah, we're at a thousand twenty-four. It, 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 just it, went it's way, way slower now than it was. Uh, well, you know, it's when like we first started up, but still, still coming in. Well, I mean, you know, we still got like, a weekend. We're a sixth to our total, and there's we've only been playing for like what three hours. Yeah, we're just going around. It, it's going to go so a lot I mean, slower from here on out, but yeah. Well, I I understand that, but I'm just saying. Uh, who knows? May, maybe Saturday morning it'll pick up. It'll pick up near the end, uh, Sunday morning. Okay. Uh, all right, so, so you let's conjure... continue. Yeah. Let's keep going, then. Conjure water right there. And, in fact, the water spreads down into the uh, crevices of what appears to be another pit. There's enough huh. room on either side for you to uh, pass through safely, except for the horse, who would have to jump the pit to get across. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> How much does a horse weigh? Like a thousand pounds. The real a question is, what does the oh. horse say? God damn it! Horse says <laughs> name. Everyone knows that. Name. Actually, I have a special ability that lets me just call the horse from wherever I am, so she can just stay here for a minute. Speaking mm -hmm. of which, can the horse talk, or is it a uh, yes. animal companion? It is a can sentient talk. being. It's an idolon. Oh. It's perfectly the horse tells person. you this is really dumb and I can't believe you're summoning me to go through a dungeon crawl. I hate this and I hate you. Well, well, <laughs> at least you didn't say anything about the spikes. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, are you, you dropping more water? But it is. Yeah, I'm going to just put down an X where I'm going to start shitting water out. And you chose red again. Ew. You Diarrhea. sunk my submarine. <laughs> you shanked my Jenga ship. <laughs> I can't believe I am taking point on this. Jesus. This you're can't well possibly go wrong. Idea. Eventually you're going to hit a lightning trap. And it'll go horribly wrong. Yeah. But tw how many? 27 uh, or The water is there. Jenga? Just pour us down into the previous pit. Hmm. Okay, drop it a little bit further before you go. It's a free spell. The cantrip. Yeah. Unlimited. Okay, and... Oh, your thing's getting in the way here. Let me... Cantrips will be. Yep. Yep. Cantrips are useful at every... Oh, that was close. Oh. No, no, sorry. I <laughs> put that in the wrong area. Yeah, okay. Uh, that is right there. Okay, and as you get further up here, you can see into the back of the room. 
So, let me describe the remainder of this hallway. The red tiled path along the floor splits into two at the end of the passage. One half of the glistening ceramic leads directly into an archway nearly 15 feet tall and carved from what appears to be a single block of flawless white marble. There is a misty veil across the archway that churns from beyond, blocking all sight of what may lay beyond. Both base stones as well as the peak of the arch glow with strange light. Yellow, blue, and orange auras pulse from all three spots. The other half of the path uh, leads right up to a huge sculpture of a face set into the wall. It appears to be the face of a nun tainted by some demonic force into growing a pair of curving horns from just beneath the black stone veil of her habit. The mm. mouth is stretched into a huge O at least three feet in diameter. The bulbous lips on the periphery painted with a glossy scarlet lacquer. Her expression is apologetic and pleasing. Wow. Well, at least they ha are very good at the artwork here. Oh, they're so good at art. I you spent so much I time on this. I think I know that girl. Well, we got so, two, two ways to go. Well, well, I have a once ability that I can use. <laughs> Total Scylla plug. Uh, where is that vision? <laughs> Well, we've already had a holiday plug, so. So many cameos. Just two, so far. Well, also Doc's cameos. Well. Now that I think about it, it seems like all the traps are on the red path. They are. It was a, a trick. You wanted to avoid yeah. the red path. Or at well, least the ones you've discovered. Right. Turns out if we step off the red path, we get doused in demon gum or something. So oh. left or right? Hmm. Uh, definitely this way. It's an actual hallway. I don't want to go what? through the mouth of a demon. Or it's, whatever. It looks it's so nice. Yeah. Whatever. Well, totally I, can, I can meditate for ten minutes and basically see our future. Uh, let's... Looks very I'm about very to roll a 1d2 to decide where I'm going to walk. Is there a trap anywhere? Do you see anything? I don't know. I'm not a rogue. It doesn't okay, mean... You are. You obviously can perceive traps. Just. Let's see. I'm going to see yeah, if I can see any trap, trap doors. To the Do you see anything on the left side? So, as, as I described, top. to the left is a giant arch with mist pouring from it. It's impossible to see through the mist, even with true sight. However, on the arch, the two base stones, as well as the top of the arch, 15 feet above you, glow with a strange aura. The auras glow slightly brighter as you approach them. I they pulse the uh, as if matching your heartbeat. I poke the head of a 10-foot pole through, then pull it back. Through the archway? Yep. Nothing happens. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, oh, um, uh, Spy, do you have Gaze of Flames on your, uh... Uh, let's see, Gaze of do Flames. Yes, I do. You can see through fog, 10 feet per level, as if using Clairvoyance. I can. So I can see 140 feet in, no wait, 150 feet into the fog. 40, we're not 15 yet. No. Oh. Yes, we are. Oh, no, you're not, not, no, until you are. Leave the, uh, not until you leave. The active players are still level 14. Okay, 140. Would clairvoyance see through the fog? Are you casting it? No, no, but it, Spy it, can see through fog as if casting clairvoyance from his, uh, his uh, oracle mystery. Revelation. Yeah. He's got... uh, you use your uh, magical sight to peer through the mists, and on the other side, it's difficult to tell for sure, but it looks like there is a large um, multi-armed creature 
that is uh, pacing back and forth in a fairly large room. Hmm. Is this mist magical? It is extremely like, magical. Uh, I'll take 10 on the spellcraft, 25. Um, is it something I could just dispel with dispel magic? Well, you're taking a 10, so what is everyone else doing? Uh, I can aid him. I mean, I have spellcraft too. That one of my highest skills. I'm going to take uh -huh. a closer look at the well-made uh, doorway. Non-doorway. Skill the doorway. Uh, it looks like the mouth is uh, opens up into a large, expansive chamber. Um, it goes so far up, down, and all around, and uh, back, that you can't even make out any of the walls. Uh, any light that you bring up to it simply eliminate, uh, illuminates the mouth. The uh, light doesn't even go back there, as if uh, a powerful magical darkness is blocking all sight. Wow. Hmm. So we got a dead end with a forearm something and a maze-like hallway. I, I'd much prefer to take on the forearm thing, honestly. Uh, oh, this, this stuff could be like, I don't know, could it be poison? Sniff it. It could totally be poison. I can detect poison, actually. If the monks immune to poison have him eat it. Like, I know the Detect Poison spell. Okay. Do cool. a quick cast then. Alrighty. Uh, oh, here's the Okay. You're detecting poison. Is that a roll or a spell that automatically does it, or what? I think it's, it's like uh, magic. level zero spell. So it's, it's like Detect Magic. Uh, oh, the mist does spell. not appear to be poisonous. Hmm. And you've already casted Detect Magic on it, right? It's oh, super yeah. magic. Oh, So it's yeah. non-poisonous magic mist. There's, it's going to do something to you. So can I dispel it? Uh, go ahead and make a dispel roll. I mean, with that spellcraft, did, did, did I determine that? Oh, it's uh, you've I never could? seen anything like this before. Okay. I'll try. Um... The spell magic. Ooh, that's a tier five spell. Yikes! I'm actually kind of tempted to do something over here. What are you um, attempting to do? Uh, what if I cast spark on the mist? Um, cast what? The spark lights uh, up a small section of the mist and does nothing. It does not ignite, uh, burning out the atmosphere and destroying all life as we know it. So we're hmm. safe. All right. <laughs> Well, I can burn out the Damn atmosphere. It. Ooh, 29 on Dispel Magic. Uh, you cast Dispel Magic. The lights on the uh, arch stone and the two base stones wink out, but the mist persists. I don't Sorry. think we're going to be getting rid of the mist, so we should just go. Well, uh, I took out some sort of horrible thing, so yeah, let's... Uh, <laughs> Advance. Okay. Right. Maybe it was the... Saving. Maybe it was... Maybe it was uh, you took out what was keeping the monster inside. That's entirely possible. Da -da -da -da. But we were going in there anyway, which is where it is. So, yeah. uh, well, who's stepping through the mist? Before First. we go in, I'm gonna ca I'm gonna cast bless before we go in. Bless. Good bless. idea. Let's buff up. Okay. I'm let's... gonna go ahead and cast. Uh, what's that spell? Guidance on everyone. I will cast Bull Strength on Hedra if she wants me to. Because I, I know better yes. than to cast spells on Hedra without asking. That would be I, nice. I okay. cast. Let's see. Not Do sure you want a large person by any chance? Because I have that too. No, okay, that'd I'm be kind of hectic over here. I cast Eagle Sp Splendor on myself. And also Shield. DC. And what else? Share language? Nah. So let's see. Hmm. 
Does anyone else uh, want need bull strength or cat's grace? What's well, cat's grace? It's bull strength, plus, <laughs> but for dexterity. Yeah. It gives you like plus you guys four. Are buffing up far out the ass here. Uh, okay. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Okay, Ken, you have my um fire seeds. I got them. Okay. Yeah, uh, bless uh, yourself, uh, plus one to AC. Um, spy, just be ready with, you know, you need to know what you need to be ready with it. You're, what you're supposed to do with that. Guys. What? Bless, plus one to hit. Plus one to attack rolls and fear saves. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, level. Well, I'm immune to fear, so I'll rage in. Which um which rule set are you using, Hedra? Uh, Pathfinder. Okay. Um, if you don't sustain damage or attack something, your rage ends the very next round. You know that, right? So you only have six seconds. Uh, are you altered it for fifth edition? Is that? Oh, sorry? That's that's the barbarian rules for rage and uh, Pathfinder. Actually, uh, I, I, don't think, I, I don't think it works, though, in Pathfinder. It doesn't have that limitation. Oh, really? Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I, I, think I, have I don't know. There's too many damn additions. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, I got um, it all up here, so I'm confident. Eight later. Are you stepping through first? Well, I'm asking. The buff was plus one to hit and all that shit. I it's got just plus strength. one to hit. Okay, so not and no you know, other buff spells? Uh... No, I don't think so. Um, before anything... Oh, actually. It, go ahead. Is it possible for me to detect evil right now? That's an at-will thing for you, because you're a paladin, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah show of hands, who in the party is evil? Nobody? Okay, you're not detect no evil. Nope. I think that's disappointing. No. I think and I'm there's no evil, something. like, well, it's and there's no evil in the area or anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Neutral. The question was if anyone in the party was evil. Ah. Okay, so no other buff spells other than bless and uh, full strength. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's it. No shield, no bark skin, or anything like that. Um, I don't got anything like that. I have ward shield. I think that's personal. I do have protect communal protection from energy, but I don't know what kind of energy we would run into. I can cast resist energy fire. Tick tock, tick tock. Your buffs just, are running out here. Come on. Yeah, just Let's remember. Come on. Don't die. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Let's going go. In. Let's just go. Let's just advance. Hedra's through first. Yes. And see shit, Captain, where I'm going. Hedra steps through the portal and vanishes. Who's next? Um. Uh, can whoever has the vision still see Nathis her? steps through the portal and vanishes. Can Who's I next? still see him? Nope. Oh. Wait, what about the creature inside? Like, is still it reacting? There. No sign of your Come two on. first while allies. Oh, okay, no I go in fuckers. next. You know, steps through and vanishes. I guess I'll go. Whatever, steps through and vanishes. <laughs> Save in. Can you guys no. sleep again? I uh, no, the, the, no, no. It. We. That jumps through. It's not reacting to you. And that sounds like some sort of horrible death trap. So, no, nah, I'm, I'm just going to sit out here for a moment. Uh, Crazy Bob, Centaur, uh, Waifu staying out here also? or yeah. It's a Waifu? Crazy Bob jumped through. It's basically a giant horse puss. Um, so, uh, Crazy Bob, you're also there? <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess. Yes. Uh, Crazy Bob, you can't actually move your guy there if you wanted to. All right, Crazy Bob steps through. Meanwhile, on the other side, boop, 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 let us do some revealing. 
<sighs> I guess. Come on, you goddamn coward. Quit being a pussy, Mr. One Million character. 